Hello, uh, this video is for a uh, forum member over at the ArtRage forums uh, who asked how to colorize a black and white image of a flower uh, for use with a sticker spray tool. Um, as you can see I've already cut my flower out and it is black and white and it is on its own layer. Now since it's going to be used for a sticker uh, we need it to be a pure red color or as close to pure red as possible. Uh, and to do that, we have to first make sure that we have a pure red color selected. Uh, the best way to find that out is to use the uh, precise color picker. And you can find that by clicking on the uh, little color area here and selecting precise color picker. Or you can use a shortcut for that. Mine is Shift C, but it's easier to find, so it might be different on your computer. Uh, so just go ahead and select that. And here is our color panel and all you want to do is drag the red all the way up to 255 and reduce the green and the blue down to zero and that will be your pure red color click OK to accept that now let's move my color picker back over All right, with that color uh, selected for us uh, we can go up to edit and select adjust layer colors and that will open up our adjust color panel and right there you can see that there's a preview window for the flower and if we go down here you can see a bunch of different options that we can play with uh, what we're interested in is colorize with paint color so we're going to check that on and then we're going to drag our color bar all the way over to the right and you can see that my flower is now changed to red all right that should be all that we need but if you wanted to uh, you could change the brightness higher or lower depending on your preference or the contrast. You don't want to play with the hue because that would change it to a different color and we don't want that. We want pure red for our sticker. So select OK and that will take effect. Now it's just a matter of saving or exporting the image as needed. And since you're going to be using it for a sticker, we want to export the image file as a PNG. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. 